Welcome to Fresh Waters, spiritual reflections helping you to grow in faith. Today's session is titled, Walk Continually. The key concept is that remaining in Christ results in unceasing prayers. The scripture reading today is from John chapter 15, verses 1 to 17. I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes, so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me, and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be given you. This is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you obey my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have obeyed my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants, because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends, for everything I learned from my Father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Then the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. This is my command, love each other. Examine a mature grapevine, and you will see that the branches can grow up to 200 feet long. Its roots can be as wide as two feet, and are anchored deep into the ground. You discovered that the branches will produce much fruit and are well connected to the vine itself. I am the vine. You are the branches, said Jesus to his disciples. Jesus wanted his disciples to remain in him. He wanted a close relationship with his followers. It is only through abiding or remaining in Christ that a branch of the vine can produce fruit that will last. To remain in Christ is to walk in the presence of Christ continually. It means that you are constantly living in the presence of God. The picture of the vine and the branches indicates to us that Christ wants an intimate, well-connected, continual relationship with us. It is a relationship that overflows with love, resulting in joy and true friendship with Christ, who wants to call us friend. When we remain in Christ, He is in us. The fruit of love is produced for all to see. God is glorified, and we are showing ourselves to be Christ's disciples. Jesus said earlier to his disciples, By this, all men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Jesus was a model of this fruit of overflowing love. He was willing to demonstrate his love for us by laying down his life 
and treating us as friends rather than servants. The whole concept of remaining in Christ should give us a sense of continually being in his presence. It is a conscious and unconscious awareness of, of a person's relationship with Christ. The Lord's words are continually reflected upon. Prayers are continually given. You see, remaining in Christ results in unceasing prayers. Unceasing prayers just means that we're constantly talking to him. Remaining in Christ also means that love towards people flows out without limits. We develop a relationship with Christ that is so intimate that we can actually receive what we ask of him. My prayer for you today is that you will not only understand what it means to remain in Christ, but you will practice it in your life. Just think about it. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being distant and 10 being intimate, how would you rate your relationship with God? Is the fruit of love being produced in your life? Are your prayers unceasing? What are the things in your life that keep you from remaining in Christ? What do you plan to do this week to remain in Christ? May God bless you in your spiritual journey. <music>